happy market monday chris from fluent mortgage market fluently you have spoken and i'm so excited coming next week so um fluent nation you guys have spoken this last year because a year ago we rolled out something exciting for our vips right they said we want larger checks we want more checks fluent keep bringing us more checks we need to get paid more and more often well just so you know again next week we're not giving away what's happening the secret sauce you are getting it now literally not just vips but the entire fluent nation something exciting rolls out next week so make sure you step back in next monday some exciting news for right now. Rates are insane. Hit the website, we'll flash it real quick. But truly, if you've had clients saying, I missed, can't afford enough house, we go today. They're insane. Now, let's take a quick look back over the last year. What happened? And then a little recap three years ago, right? When we knew this was gonna start, we told you physical assets, physical assets, physical assets, physical assets, right? History repeats itself. So in times of hyperinflation, if you buy physical assets, you'll win. Case in point, Forbes just released their study over the last three years, right? Whatever you're gonna call that time period, won't personally name it, um, politics, the halves. The top 788 people in the United States exponential shocking growth made $1.5 trillion in just three years. Literally on average, they gained an extra $2 billion. Like shocking, we've never seen that sort of ROI in such a short period of time. Now, conversely, most of the people, the poor, right? Most of us lost huge to give them all that money. Not getting into politics, just know we've got another interesting year where physical assets, physical assets, physical assets, whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter. That's the game, right? We're giving you the keys to win. Physical assets. The year to come. Oh, man, it's going to be interesting. So what do we have? We have hyperinflation in the Fed trying to combat that by raising rates, and they think they still have another year, right? We've got the bond repurchase portfolio that's going to be sold. Again, raising rates. We've got $4 trillion in stimulus from the federal government that hasn't even been printed yet. Another one seven just committed to. We got four left to actually roll out. Huge exponential increase to inflation and rates, right, to combat that. But what's happening this year or next year? It's an election year. So it starts today, right? Literally, we're 2023 starting the election campaign for 24. So that has the opposite effect, right? Like when we watch gas go from $7 to $3 every election, you're saying, look how good I've done. Man, so we're going to have the most amazing pulled down to make the economy look great versus everything else that's true and not artificial going on. So you're going to have this immovable object meets this unstoppable force and we're going to see who sort of wins. So it's going to be eventful. And the thing I would say is when things make major dramatic moves, you win. You just got to get with the smart people, right? <laughs> to take advantage of those wins. Like in the stock market, double dips and things is how you make excessive amounts of wealth. So let's go. So quick recap. Make sure you come back next week. Exciting news to Fluent Nation. But for today, accepted offer, accepted offer, make that offer. Rates are sick. Let's go. You win and your clients win. Like, subscribe, share. We'll see you next week.